National polls all put Barack Obama ahead of John McCain in the popular vote. But the real goal is 270, the number of electoral votes needed to claim victory. Is there any way for John McCain to pull off a win there? Francis, let's turn to our chief political correspondent, Jeff Greenfield. Jeff, good evening to you. How you doing? You've looked at the numbers. Mathematically, how does John McCain win on Tuesday? All right. If you assume that there are a large number of people who are for McCain that just aren't talking to the pollsters, I not see. lying to them, okay. but not talking. If you assume the undecideds break heavily to McCain, if you assume that Obama's new army of voters, first-time voters, gets discouraged by weather or long lines in the poll and stay home, you can concoct a scenario where McCain wins all of the battleground states, Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and Missouri, steals Pennsylvania, if that's the right word, and ekes out an electoral college mm. win even though he runs several million behind in the popular vote. This is highly unlikely. It's not impossible. I see. Okay, let's assume the polls are right and Barack Obama has a big night on Tuesday. The Democrats have a big night on Tuesday. What is Barack Obama's big, biggest political challenge at that point? Well, it looks like he has a huge mandate and a wide open field. He'd have like 58 senators. He'd have 250 members of the House. Uh, he would presumably have won a big uh, electoral majority and popular majority. And when you think of George W. Bush in 2000, who governed with disciplined Republicans, even though he hadn't even won the popular vote and had a divided Congress, it looks like he could get everything through. But he has 60 members of the House, so-called blue dog Democrats, who are much more conservative about spending than others. He has a block of more than 100 liberals who really want uh, an aggressive agenda after eight years in the wilderness. And he says he wants to work with Republicans, and the more he has to work with Republicans, the tougher it is to satisfy the more partisan Democrats. One more detail, the government doesn't have any money. It's 12 trillion <laughs> rats, in yes. debt. So it's going to be a, much, a, a very tough road for him no matter what November 4th looks like. Jeff Greenfield, who has a very busy couple days ahead. Thanks a lot.